Hi, in the last video, I tried to show you how perfectly the, six, the Fibonacci 60 digit repeat cycle fits into Metatron's cube. Since then I have made some startling new observations and this simply reaffirms my belief that this 60 digit repeat cycle is the key to unlocking Metatron's cube. Some people have asked me to better explain what Metatron's cube actually is. There are numerous sites on the web already doing this. The focus of these videos is really to show you how perfectly the Fibonacci 60 digit cycle fits into Metatron's cube and to draw your attention to the secrets that are being revealed. Now look at this next image of Metatron's cube constructed with a 60 digit repeat cycle and once again take note of how perfectly the lines on the hexagon passes through the fives and zeros. This is no coincidence. These 16 numbers were meant to be inserted into Metatron's cube. So what is all this telling us? I know what it's telling me. It's telling me that the universe is a divine circle. The numbers being generated in the Fibonacci sequence not only produce the golden ratio and the golden angle which are found throughout nature but they also produce the 60 digit repeat cycle that fits so perfectly into the cube. When I study the cube with the 60 digits, I am finding some sacred numbers that keep reoccurring. So what are sacred numbers? Two of the most important numbers in ancient religion are the numbers 108 and 216. In the Jewish Kabbalistic sources mentioned by Tosafet as well as the Kabbalists, as well as in Christian Kabbalah and in Ametic Kabbalah, there was a secret hidden name of God that contained 216 letters. It's also important to know that in the ancient world they used to use numbers as letters. This practice was called Gematria. They believed that once this 216 letter name of God was revealed, it would bring about the Messianic Age, which is the Age of Peace. Look at the following table taken from Wikipedia. This shows the 216 letter name in its divided form. The, the name is divided into 72 parts, 72 times 3 is 216. This next image also shows 72 names of angels arranged in a circle. Please take the time to research these topics, there are many pages online. My point here is that somewhere in the ancient world people were told that there is a secret 216 letter name of God that is hidden and needs to be found in order to unlock the key, the secrets to the universe. Combine that knowledge with the idea that the secrets of the universe are hidden inside Metatron's cube. When I enter the 60 digit repeat cycle into Metatron's cube, it acts like a key and I'm starting to see the sacred numbers 108 and 216 appearing all over inside the cube. So how does this help us and what exactly does it tell us? Metatron's cube is a divine or sacred geometry. It's like God's signature. It's telling me that the universe is not a random singularity event as per the Big Bang theory, but rather that the universe is a divine circle. These numbers taken from the 60 digits repeat cycle shows how the physical universe is constructed using mathematics. The universe is a superior intelligent design in which every object is a fractal of the whole. Every object inside the universe is at the center of its universe. I will try to demonstrate this more clearly in my next video, but look closely at Metatron's cube and how perfectly the 60 digit repeat cycle fits into it. This is no coincidence. Where we can finally prove that the universe is not random chaos, a theory that leads to nihilism, but rather that the universe is an intelligent creation then we have proven that there must be a creator. Every creation must have a creator. I believe I have done exactly this. Metatron's cube is God's signature. Once we accept God, we can finally open the doors to heaven. I am not trying to sell you any religion. I myself have no religion. I simply believe that God is everything. Please don't be offended or think me arrogant and filled with hubris when I point out to you that my name Lucian means light or when I point out that Lucian is an anagram for the word nuclei. Nuclei are at the center of atoms. At the heart of everything I am saying is a message that was given to us 2000 years ago. 
and that is that we are all at the center of our divine universe and we are all the children of God. Everything in life has great purpose and meaning.